The idea of lobs was brought upon when man had first stepped on the moon July 21, 1969. United States government kept lobs as a classified secret under construction from 1969 till 1979, but only as a precautionary prototype. On May 16, 1981 Soviet nuclear weapons dropped onto U.S. soil wiping out the eastern seaboard. 10,000 U.S. personnel escaped while the Earth turned to ashes. The year is 2094. Little is known about the Earth's condition and well-being. No contact is made except for the annual water ration brought from Earth's oceans. The Council is supreme and rules over all, what is said is done. Lob's flag, the blue represents the peace and prosperity of the common people. The white of the moon stands for the enlightenment and justification of the council. The black of the libra displays the balance and structure of the guards. Within Lob's, the citizens are not able to retain technology use. It is limited to the council. The council has technology beyond Earth scientists could have ever imagined. Biology labs, chemistry equipment, and medical machinery have been improved. Great leaps and bounds in technological advancements. Sickness and disease have ceased to exist. The greatest invention since Lobb's start has been the 4X30 air filtration system. The atmosphere within Lobb's is polluted due to the constant mining each day. The 4X30 cleans the air and treats it, allowing the wearer the freshest of breathable oxygen. Lobb's 10 Laws 1. Stealing of anything belonging or pertaining to the council is certain death outside the biosphere. 2. Stealing items pertaining to guards or citizens results in working of three weeks on Dark Sunday. 3. Insulting, questioning, or undermining the council is certain death outside the biosphere. 4. Adultery is banishment outside the biosphere. 5. Use of electricity after curfew will result in two weeks of work on Dark Sunday. 6. Once a common citizen, always a common citizen. The choosing of guards will be made by the council. 7. The misuse of, of drugs given by the council to aid in healing will result in five weeks work on Dark Sunday. 8. The council is the only high education in existence. Common people cannot attain higher education above the age of 10. 9. The Council are the only members allowed to travel to Earth's surface to gain essential materials. 10. The Council is supreme, and rules over all. First, the children are educated until the age of 10. However, at any time, one can drop out of the school and join the laborers. They are then tested for the sectors of scientist or laborers. The guards are chosen by the council. Second, the scientists work in the categories of astronomy, teaching engineering, communications, council, and medical profession. Laborers can work in the fields and mine. A guard can be a street watcher, border patrol, district keeper, or guard the distribution center. Third, when a family is established, there can only be two children. However, for scientists, only one child is allowed. Each family lives in a house with rectangular windows and doors. There are no decorations except in the scientists' homes. Both are allowed to socialize within that section only. However, each community is a tight-knit group. Parents are involved with raising the child. The children are taught to be honest, selfless, motivated, show perseverant, and sympathetic. Fourth, laborers grow the food for the distribution center. Everything is organic. They mainly grow corn, potatoes, rice, and wheat. Laborers, guards, and scientists have different schedules. They wake up, eat, work, and sleep at different times. These are the only people with higher education. They are the select group chosen to be enlightened, because this is the only way humanity can function without corruption. On Earth, corrupt people falsely believed that they were enlightened and were responsible for the nuclear winter unleashed upon humanity as a whole. Therefore, only a select group can be enlightened thus ushering the role of the scientist or council. A new chance at life. 
a new home and a beginning. This is your chance to go somewhere safe. This is your chance to be healthier, stronger, smarter. Join us. We welcome you.